All right, in that case, what's up, everyone? I'm Fearless Falcon, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Except today, we're doing something special. Today, uh, well, first off, today, we are making sure that the volume audio is correct. But uh, today, I actually have acquired and found a special system with some really good loot that Derelict Freighter has, and opened it to the public via a reddit post so everyone knows where it is we even have some people in the system right now those people being uh open the options menu why is the options menu not doing anything uh okay that's new let's just uh close that let me reopen No Man's Sky then. Gee, whenever it, what? Why is it that every time, every freaking time, something happens and it's just like, okay, here we go. Welcome to Glitchland. There we go. Alright, ready to start. Play game, load save. Yes, I have 82 hours logged. Deal with it. <laughs> Alright. Now we just wait for it to load. I will get I will say this the game does take a significant amount of time to load hello okay there we go all right let's try that again does it work this time yes it does welcome to the derelictal system as I've come to college. Who is around? Let us see. Uh, network. View nearby player list. Well, it seems like we've got someone at least. I don't need to update my PC. Take advantage of support assist. This thing always comes up. Well, let's go see the... Oh, hey! Navigational data! Sweet! Then I'll give us stuff to do. Well, I suppose if we want to do stuff, the first thing that we can do is go hit the Nexus. Because the Nexus has good missions. It, it, they're... I mean, they're okay. They give good loot. Sometimes. I've already done my full set of Quicksilver missions for the day. For the, for the day, but... I don't know. It might be worth something. Let's go see what the communication stations have. Because, see, when I left this open on Reddit, when I when I made it this, this really nice meme about, like, oh... Like, oh, here's how you can get to my system, and here's some of the stuff that it has. I left the portal glyphs. So everyone can come here. Anyone who wants to come here can come here. And what that means is that we get messages left like this. Thanks for the invitation, lovely planet. Great system, thanks for the invitation. Greetings. Welcome, everyone. Have a nice day. Reddit brought me here. Cool place. So nice to see that people are happy and welcoming. See? 
Everyone says hi. We are in the new system. I found this. Hey! Someone's actually here. In the system with us. That's rare. Well, it's less rare now that the system's open. Welcome to the Derelectal system. This place has some of the best possible loot in the, dere in the system, Derelects. And as a result, I decided to open this place to the public via a Reddit post. So we have some fantastic, just like, people have already set up bases, and I thought I'd give a nice tour of the place today. How are you doing? Well, I hope. So peaceful. So peaceful until the Sentinels show up. Then they're not exactly Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Oh, that's right! Someone left the antimatter reactor here, and I don't know who. Oh, the Sentinels are these... Where are they? They're these little robot things that fly around and they essentially act as the system's police force. No one likes them because they're very annoying and... Oh! Look, someone else is here! Hello! <laughs> I can wave. Says, how did you do it? And then says, yes. Do what? Nice interacting with, with people in the system. Welcome, by the way. It's nice to see people showing up. This is my ship. disappear. I don't think he knows I'm streaming this, but, uh... I can see them just fine. Maybe... it's an issue on your end? good idea. Like, uh, I'm streaming right now. A 
derelict? The derelict? Crater? Yes! If you use an emergency broadcast receiver. do that right now. Because that's sort of one of the reasons that I decided to do this today. We have a derelict freighter to explore. It's gonna be great because it gives good loot for once. To the space station! Actually, speaking of visual bugs, the inside of my ship is supposed to be red. I don't know why it's, like, pure white. Like, it's usually red with, like, black highlights, and then this time it's... pure white? This happens sometimes. I don't know why, and I find it very annoying. Hello! Many services, friend. Some life forms are uneasy with this business, but all profit is profit, yes? Indeed. An emergency broadcast receiver. Now we're talking. So here's the good thing about this system every system has a derelict freighter you can find and explore. But, this system, A, has really good loot in its derelict freighter, which is randomly generated for each system, and B, has, like, no enemies in it. So, it's, like, double good. Onward! Time for a derelict run. Dungeoneering! No internal life signs detected, of course none. Warning, game not saved aboard derelicts. I know it's not saved. You really think I, I, I freaking don't know that? <laughs> After I've run this ship like five times? I can, I, I've literally done this enough times that I can speed run this dungeon. So, there are plenty of freighters in the world. You know, every, every space system has, you know, giant spaceships that carry smaller ships and cargo and whatever. Think, like, the comparison between, uh, an Imperial Star Destroyer in Star Wars versus just an X-Wing. And sometimes something goes wrong on one of the ships. Sometimes things happen and, and the entire crew dies, you know, like Alien or The Thing. And they're just left floating in space and then all of a sudden we get to go loot the place. External access doors have been automatically sealed. Override seal. Collect emergency supplies first, please. Breach! Weapons hot! Alright. Ooh, 
got some good modules already. An S-rank phase beam module and a hyperdrive. We got some good stuff going on here already. It's a good run. Yep, you're cor you're absolutely correct. Um, it is essentially the wreck of a cargo freighter. Oh, joy and fun. Die! basic gun for. I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun attachment. Scatter blaster! My record is eight and a half minutes for looting everything. One minute, 45 seconds. Or roughly two minutes. To just gun it for the upgrade. Granted, that that record is not going to happen today because we're live streaming and I got it late. Yeah, I know. Thermal protection falling. I know. <laughs> Alright. I personally prefer to loot everything. Ah. Log snippet. Captain's eyes only. Pre-flight... 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 Crew appraisal. Name entity urban. Specialism atmosphere maintenance. Hyperspace sensitivity 19%. Empathy 5%. Mechanical aptitude 16%. Company approval rating 47%. Predicted remaining lifespan 41.4 years. Man, this guy has like a low rating on a lot of stuff. Addendum. Captain's personal notes. Using ship's resources for personal experiments. Must consult with other officers. We got security credentials of Officer Telas Tel Telasovka. That'll let us access the captain's log later. Just giving my just giving everyone a it's four of the derelict. Partial crew equipment record follows. Name, technician entity, Ruz. Specialism, general hand. Personal locker contains anomaly detector. Ooh, I love those. Protective gloves, emergency inflatable, and a collection of heavily annotated papers. Last accessed three days ago. Detailed scans reveals the locker is partially dissolved. Door integrity failing. So what was in that locker? I guess we'll never know. All the snippets are randomly generated, so you kind of have to guess what happened to the ship. Based on what's going on and what happened. There are these weird green jellyfish. Uh, I can explain that later. Heck, you can probably find one. But essentially, it works as a random encounter in space. Gotta loot all the lockers. Gimme! Gimme all the locker loot. It doesn't have to be an enemy, it can be something good too. Or something completely useless. I 
personally love him. Yeah, pretty much. It's literally like a, a, a lottery. A lot of random space encounters literally do nothing. Some give you nanites, some give you like coordinates, others give you random loot. It, it depends. Essentially the way it works is that every system has a, a seed, so... Like, my home system, uh, if I entered Warp Pulse, and I'm in Warp Pulse exactly one minute after entering the system, I encounter an NPC whose chip needs repair. And I can either repair them and get a small reward, or do nothing and get nothing. But if I had an anomaly detector, I could theoretically force something like that to happen. Sir Frank, the boundary walker, has left the system. Well, good to know. Log snippet of the Bokush's glory. Recovered glistening eggs from the moon of Nodelichin Aizen. Performed vacuum resistance testing. Observation, sample quarantined, experiment aborted. Aborted. Gee, I wonder what those eggs have to do with the fact that the whole freighter is dead. What is dark matter used for? I don't have any dark matter. Oh, I have antimatter. But there's no dark matter in this game. Antimatter is like a fuel source for the hyperdrive. That's about all it does, but, you know, being able to... You need the hyperdrive to jump between stars, so... You know, you need it in order to get around. So it's very important. Even if it's common, it's, it's about as important as getting gas for your car. I hear that! Ship AI log decrypted. Location tracking report on officer entity Emble. Fuel generation. Personal bias scan last detected seven days ago in undetermined exterior space. Three others present. Biometric readout reads increasingly violent behavior. No further life signs. So three people got shunted out the airlock and are becoming increasingly deadly with each other? And what were those eggs doing? It feels, it feels more like Alien. Like, they, they brought those eggs onto the ship and, like, something happened. There we go. Full recharge on all our tech. Maybe. I don't know. Records terminal access. Searching. Mission destination encrypted. Company charter details encrypted. Crew manifest accessible. Yeah, it could be like a Neorax worm. Maybe. Crew status as of last shipwide bioscan. 12, 12 days ago. Commanding officer. Duty officers. Crew status report. Crew active 102. Crew deceased 83. Gee! Oh, <laughs> AI control officer Gada Kuyang. Error, multiple locations. <laughs> so he's in multiple places at once. Well, this ain't the same universe, but it could be something similar to Karar. Extract for extract from watch officer's daily report discipline date stamp pure entity Ubskev combat team tried by panel for serious assault sentence removal from ship <laughs> So Ubskev was sus and they had to shunt him out the airlock, huh? Was he an imposter though? Well, it doesn't have to be a virus Did my game just freeze? 
Did my game just freaking freeze? Oh, whoa, 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 what is going on? Why am I going backwards? Apparently my character decided to freaking moonwalk. Oh, shut up, security system. I need to read this. Research log entry follows. Recovered seemingly conscious fungus from the moon of Unato. Performed extensive probing. Sample quarantined. Experiment aborted. Gee, I wonder what happened. Maybe it has something to do with this shit. Oh, your eyes are still moving. Oh, your eyes are moving. Yeah, I bet you're our problem here. This is why you don't F around with random shit you find on random planets, unless you're a main character. Ship AI logging fragment. Output follows. Automated reporting for entry SNES. Internal electromagnetism, exceptional. Value of body parts, exceptional. Ration consumption, very high. Conclusion, mark for deletion. Who is... Oh, oh, um, it's like, what happened? Monitoring and maintenance logs access. Event record follows. Unauthorized access in the catering unit. Outcome, alert, deprioritized, manual. Sure, you can tell me something fun. Ship AI fault in captain's quarters. Watch officer alerted. Redacted material spillage in the shield generator. Internal alert level raised. Oh, shit. Hey! Anyone else want some of this stuff? I have a shotgun. Buzz off! Personal data record. Auto transcribing audio. Headed to the armory. Turned on us out of nowhere. Check it out. We can't. Okay. Yeah, shit went down. You know what they say? Starship happens. No, huh? No? Okay, fine. Date stamp. Camera disabled in environmental control unit. Bridge alerted. Curfew breach and shield generator. Internal material spillage in the cargo security room. Pressure compartment vented into space. We actually, there actually is a race of like tech beings called the Corvax in this game. They're like AI and they work as like a singular entity and they all like follow, they're all scientific and stuff. Essentially it's like Vulcans from Star Trek, but if they were robots and they all had a hive mind. Ship AI log decrypted. Location tracking report. Personal bioscan last detected 11 days ago in the operations center. Consciousness co-opted by external routine. So something happened to overtake his brain. Great. More of these guys. Jeez, I hate to be on a ship like that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to report to that for that. <laughs> Personal data recording for technician entity Voru. Auto transcribing audio. <sighs> Captain's orders, but I don't understand. Barricaded inside the No! Crawling! Crawling out of there! <sighs> I bet there's a problem with these things. 
It's these things that are the issue. the only one that sees that. They're twitching. <gasps> Trunk of scientific moonstones! Approximately 2,807 years old. This treasure bears the faint outline of a family crest. That's gonna be worth a lot of money. Hold on, that's gonna be worth. That's worth a million units! And you wanna know what the worst part is about this ship? These things cause the problems, they're the parasites. And you wanna know the scariest part of all? <laughs> Actually, no, it's just a cosmetic option, but I like it. Private mainframe, access denied. Captain's DNA. Required to access personal log. That sounds like it sucks. Shipwide bioscans indicate severe incident status. Override available. Indicate captain's fate to begin. Well, uh, it said no life signs detected, so I'm going to say deceased. Input accepted. Log will report captain's fate as extinguished. Duty officer may take command. Well, we have the security credentials for our officer, Telus Voka. Credentials accepted. Welcome, officer. The log will record you as temporary commander. Last significant entry from Captain Ratignier follows. Date stamp. I thirst. I hunger. I feel. I have awoken in a carapace of flesh, disconnected from the convergence. So that is saying that it's one of the tech entities and they've been disconnected somehow from their hive mind. I am to be quarantined within this deck for the duration. The ship's computer has no recollection of this happening before. No Corvax has possessed a biological form in living memory. It agrees we must return. We must share this discovery. I have given it command. We are no closer to home. What is the ship hiding from me? It, it has my voice. I listened to the ship, and it had my voice. I do not understand. What am I? Am I Corvax? Am I... There have been others like me. Attempts to regain the body that was lost. It cannot know that I know. It cannot. I thirst. I hunger. I feel. I have awoken in a carapace of flesh. Yeah, I'm out of here. Got the captain's log, though. Oh, yeah. That's... Metal right there. So, yeah. Uh, everyone went crazy on the ship for some reason. Monitoring and maintenance logs accessed. Wiring short. False alarm. Unspecified malfunction. Redacted containment failure in the forward turrets. Gee, yeah, lots of redacted shit going down. Alright. To the engineering core! You do certainly sound very salty about it. Which is kind of funny, almost. Alright. Here we are in the final room. Expedition event log follows. Purchased cheap goods during surplus. Sold at a profit. Deployed AI trade, trade terminal. AI malfunction. Purchased 6,800 tons of worthless trinkets. Hailed freighter. Attempted to negotiate price of supplies. Okay. No, I don't want to read it again! I already read that bit.
Alright, give me the loot. You know, I'll, I'll say this. There's plenty of loot in the freighter, but there is one piece of loot that everyone cares about. I don't, I really don't mind. Um, event record follows. Ship AI fault. Unauthorized access. Parasite infestation. Yep. Well, here we are in the final room. Granted, if I had rushed, I could have gotten here in like two minutes. But there's one piece of tech that everyone cares about, and that is the engineering control panel. Because the technology upgrade is the most important thing you can get from this. Give it. It's an S rank! That's what's important about this system, folks. The fleet, the frigate module is an S rank. And not only that, if you're lucky enough to get a hyperdrive upgrade, it's almost the maximum value. Yeah, it sounds like that AI is being a jerk, though. <laughs> awesome. Actually, let me install the friggin' where is the upgrade? Salvage Fleet Beacon. Expedition speed plus 15%. That's the third one I've got. Oh look, my ship's interior is back to normal instead of that weird like whitewash. Oh yeah, I can shove some stuff in the- hang on. Sorry, I'm just trying to, 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 to do things. I can shove uh, some stuff in the portable refiner and make it into nanites. And nanites are super useful. Adol core. Uh... I could theoretically throw the hypnotic eye in, but that would take too long. Larval core, there we go. Nanite cluster. Okay, that's the first bot, first final boss. I don't want to know what the last ones are. How's everyone doing, by the way? Like, like, I see that other people are, are in chat. If any of you are having a good day, you know, happy to let you know, or I could let you know the address of this system so you can get that sweet, sweet S class upgrade module. Anyway, in we go. Welcome to the space station. Yeah, you certainly sound salty, dude. <laughs> and I thought I got salty at Dark Souls, which we're playing more of tomorrow. I can't wait to do more of that. I've, been, I've, I've actually been surprisingly excited to play more Dark Souls, which is... Uh, I don't know what happened. Anyway, give me all that sweet, sweet tainted metal. I need my upgrades. Uh, you sell, yeah, you sell, you sell the suspicious hazard protection. You know how useful that shit is? Very. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Uh, ooh, those are actually some really good resistance stats. I can ditch that. This is a direct improvement of that. Games are made to be unfair. Whoa! Obedience of the anomaly. That's a cool sounding weapon. Hello! Friend, please spend nanites. Receive uh, upgrades. Gek Trade Federation on us. Install a multi tool upgrade. Purchase! 
sell some stuff. And then take the rest of the tainted metal, and you know what? I'm feeling lucky. Give me something random. Give me a suspicious packet. but it'll give me some nanites. Let's see, what else can I do? Whoa! Oh, that's someone else's ship. I thought this was one of the random spawns of the system, and I was like, oh, there's an exotic ship? Ah. Oh. But no, it's a player's. That would have made the system so much better. I think it looks like a squid. Alright, selling shit. Nanotube crate. Uh, trunk of scientific moonstones. Uh, what else can I sell? Superconducting fiber. Living glass. Some storm crystals. The unstable plasma. Gecknip. I will look I will look into that. That could sound like a fun way to get angry at a game for a while. I mean we're playing this today, so it's kinda like I can't uh actually if you want to see a cool space encounter, let me go over to uh I haven't shown this area off yet, but I'm actually planning on building a resort. In this play, or I found a system that I'm planning on building a resort in. Because there is something very interesting that happens in this system. Can the teleporter please freaking load? <laughs> very fond of, like, taking risks in-game. Yeah, like, I mean, if you're, like, you know, I'll go out and buy, like, a Mega Millions ticket if I, if I, if it's, like, above a hundred million. Just for the laughs. You know, there's always the dream and the hope and you get to imagine stuff that happens. But, like, I'm not gonna go hit Vegas and be like, this is mo this is where I'm gonna get all my money. So we just need to wait for a space encounter. Aha! Yep, repair your ship. You're welcome. And then, the next space encounter in the system... It's a grave of the Ocean King. You think the Leviathans and Subnautica were big? Just you wait until you see this big boy. <sighs> patiently waiting, patiently waiting.
the Kirby Ocean King at? I want my fossil. I want my free fossil. Ah, there it is. Oh. This big boy. It's enormous. Like I said, you thought the you thought the Leviathan Nautica were big. This guy could probably eat like a Reaper Leviathan as a snack. Look at this thing. It's huge. I think I have to fly the ship through. You can see why I was so interested in that system. Bovine cranium times one. How much is that worth? Two million! I love you. Bless. But yes, the game that you said does seem interesting. You had me sold as soon as you said that it was like card games. Card games can be fun. I got my old Pokemon card set up there. Uh oh. We're about to get hit by pirates, aren't we? We're about to get hit. We're about to. Yep. Oh! They're not coming after us. I get to go after them! Delightful. Hello! Prepare to get blown up by a weird alien ship that's somehow alive. <laughs> Idiots. I think the pirates would learn their lesson. After after years of of them showing up and me just being like BOP! Dead. Oh, my neck just cracked. That felt really good. Ugh. I like the space station design. It looks pretty kicking. Granted, I would not recommend kicking a space station. Welcome aboard, Yaitamish Station. Hello! I am here. I will not be here for long. I'm going back to the main system that we were in earlier today. Uh, but I do want to see if I can sell some things. Specifically those relics that we got. Profit. Taking the stuff, 
buying the things and then being like, okay, I can go over here and sell things for more than I bought them for is a great way to make money in this game. It's not the best way, it's not the fastest way, but it's a good way. It's a nice little thing I can do in my spare time. And believe me, with the price of freighters these days, you need all the money you can get. Welcome back to the Derelictal System. Named after the derelict that resides here. I have arrived! Says Falcon, saying in chat, wondering if anyone's even here to greet him. Hey, it works! No, I meant, I meant, I know you're there, I meant like in the system, in the game, because there can, there can be other players in a game. Nearby player, yeah, see, there's nobody here to greet me. <laughs> I have arrived and there is no one to play with in the game right now. <laughs> there could be, people can show up. Friggin' direction. Uh, three explore. Pick a star, any star, any star at all. How about? Uh, uh, okay, that's out of jump range. How about this one? Gun it. I love my living ship. This thing is... Okay, so... Are you aware of, like, the end goals in No Man's Sky? Because there are several. Okay, then. So there are... So there actually is more than one galaxy in No Man's Sky. There are... There's 255. Essentially, there's so many that it's impossible for anyone to ever explore even one fully, but there's plenty. The way that it works is there are three, well, multiple goals. Oh, great, we're being scanned by pirates. Well, hang on. Let me deal with this and then I'll explain. That is a beautiful ship. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Fight me! Switching to lasers! My lasers are better than yours! That all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So initially, when the game first came out, because when this game first came out, it was uh, not very well received because they promised a lot and they didn't deliver on a lot of it because they were pressed for time. But when the game first came out, there was really only one goal other than to explore and make your base. And that was reach the center of the galaxy. 
And when you reach the center of the galaxy, that that's it. That's the end of the game. Essentially. The But things have changed. So when you reach the center of the galaxy, you can actually get to another planet. Or another galaxy. Where you can choose to stay in the one that you're currently in. There's other missions, like following the Atlas path, and the Artemis path, and... The... Mm. Or just exploring! We even have a galactic set... Oh, good, I was about to go... Did my game just freaking freeze again? And then it unfroze. Like, if I hop back out to the galaxy map, after I recharge the pulsing card of my star ship, if I, if I hop back out to the galaxy map, we have several options on what we can do. We can head for the galactic center, which will take me down this incredibly long path all the way. There are no gas giants. There are, and Every planet and moon can be landed on in this. So we can, we could, we could theoretically free explore. That's another one. We can go to the Atlas stations, which is essentially this universe's god. Or we could head for a black hole. A black hole, so if, if you look, you can see, actually, no, wait, you can't see because uh, my face is in the way. If you look, you can see in the top corner now, there's actually a galaxy map. The little yellow dot is where we are, and then, obviously, there, there's the thing that exists. Black holes are essentially random warps. They send you to a random star in the entire galaxy. It usually tries to send you closer to the galactic center, but it's not guaranteed. Being said, I did have somewhere that I was that was kind of closer to a black hole than where we are now. I mean, I don't... I'm, I'm just happy free exploring. Like, there... The Galactic Center is a long ways off. Like, we gotta go... So far to reach this thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, this might take a while. Alright, we'll head for the Galactic Core then. Will take a while though. Like, hitting the Galactic Core essentially means I have to do warp jump after warp jump. runs on chromatic metal, which is super easy to make. I mean, I 
like finding new new places to explore. planets in the whole galaxy. There's no way we'd ever see them all. Not as funny as Spore's ending. I will. I will say that much. It's a lot more serious. Technically, I already reached it in this save file. I, I chose to refuse the atlas, which let me stay in this galaxy. Center of the galaxy looks very is is the center of the galaxy is actually like you know what? The center of the galaxy is literally an atlas station, so why not just head for an atlas station? Duh, I'm an idiot. Hyperdrive has no fuel! Of course it doesn't! permadeath mode, it's very difficult to lose. There is no penalty for dying. At least in normal mode. In survival mode, you... No, they're... they're, they're... The... 
the only things that can really hurt you in this game are the Sentinels, and they're not exactly the most, uh, aggressive. They're easy to escape. This game is more about the beauty of exploring space than actually, like, fighting or asking for a serious challenge. Alright, give me one more space encounter and then we'll hop on to the next system. Yeah, whatever. Next system. Let's see what's up. Atlas Station. Try and find you a hostile planet. No promises that we'll find one, but I'll look. Good, the weather is walls of flame! Hi, volcano. I'm not gonna go up the volcano. That's a bad idea. That's, that's me waiting to die there. I got too much good shit that I can afford to die. You know what? You know what, let's, let's, uh, where are the sentinels? Let me, let me, like, up the problem. Whoa, what are you? You got, like, 16 feet, dude. Well, given that the temperature is, uh... This temp, the temperature here is probably close to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It's without a storm going on, which will probably jump it to like 200. Let me, uh, let me alert the sentinels. Like, you want real danger? Let me alert the sentinels. Where are the sentinels? Come on, I'm destroying dihydrogen crystals. Do something. Come fight me! 
All right, well, I might as well do something productive slightly. Put down a signal booster. Well, there just aren't any in the area. They're, they're, it's kind of like, you know, dealing with the, I don't want to say it like this, but it's like dealing with a police officer. If they don't see you doing something that they're going to bother stopping, then they're not going to bother you. So I need to find one and then do something stupid in front of it, and then it'll fight me. Oh, you're aggressive. Hi. You're a predator creature. Excited by violence, it says. Yeah, how about no? How about you uh, go away? <laughs> Pretty much. No one likes the Sentinels. They are jackasses. Basically. I don't see any on the scanner. Don't... Ow! Hey! Watch it, Buster! Oh, there's one. Hi! And goodbye. something that I've never done before. all goddamn day. Oh, Walker decided to show up, finally. Whining, you'll be dead soon. Plus, I get Walker Brains. Walker Brains are super useful. For something, I think. Here come more! We're not even at level 5 yet. Mental shield is for the environment. My shield is on the top, hidden by my head. I'm sorry, I should swap that over when I'm not being, you know, repeatedly shot at. Here, this 
is what you need to be focused on. Threat level max. Oh no, oh that's that's just because um Oh there's great, there's walkers and quads and my elementals still just finally decided to start to drop because the other the backup uh extras that I had just started to fail. You know what, maybe it's time to go. Maybe, maybe I need to, to, to go, to run. This is my starship. Where is my starship? Please tell me I'm not going up a volcano. I'd like to not be going up a volcano. Hey, don't laser me, bro. And here's the thing, we're not even at full power yet. Not oh, crap. Oh, hi. Wall of flame! Ah, crap. Not the wall of flame. It's not that bad. It said wall of flame detected, but I don't see the weather changing. Ow. need a quad servo, so, oh, here we go. Uh, I can totally name it, uh, yeah, I can totally name it. Uh, what do you want me to name it? <laughs> here we go. Give me a name. Give me a name. Or do you want me to name it? Nate's... I'm not sure that'll... I'm not sure that'll go past... The... Wow, that actually went past any filters. I wasn't sure that would work. Okay, we're out of here. Engaging pulse. But wait! You thought you could escape? Because they have starships too! Keep them coming! Coming. We're gonna do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid. I just didn't want it to be like, oh, you can't make, you can't use the word hell, because there are filters in this game. There are actually filters, and they'll be like, oh, you can't call it that. Or it could get, I mean, theoretically, I have a job. If it does, I blame you. Here it comes. Here comes some more. Three of them this time.
don't know. I like it. I mean, I'm... I'm not exactly one... Like, if I... Like, I name stuff like, uh... You know, like, Levantal for, like, Lava and then... Whatever. I come up with... Fun name. I try to come up with fun name. Clever name. But Nate's Hellscape works. The fight continues! Damn. Oh, there's one left, huh? There's still one left? All right, now we're at max threat. Now we are at maximum threat. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> My friend Nate said to kill all of you. <laughs> Rah! I mean, some of them can actually look like Imperial Star Destroyers. This one just looks like this. Overheat! Ah, oh, let's see about that. I got other weapons. Oh, I can break the cargo pods. Get my loot. Oh, who dares? Who freaking dares? Fight me. I can see that. My capital ship actually looks like this. Like, this is the design of my capital ship. Oh, I forgot there's turrets on the other side. Fun! all of it. The ship is dead in the water. I can't kill it and I can't land on it. But I can certainly break its stuff and get loot. Ow. Ow. Okay, I guess it's not dead in the water. There's still one or two left or something. Who dares? My shield auto heals. Also, I can recover it with... The stuff that I've been getting from the... Ah, uh, there you are. My shield auto-recovers when I'm not taking damage. Although I can also recover it with... If, if I have to, I can recover it with Pugnium. Well, it's dead now. Casually just kills the, the boss character and it just flies away. You go, no big deal. I break out a pulse, does it come back? Or are you still just. Oh, we get to go again, do we? You wanna play twice?
to hell with ye! Or, to hell with ye! <laughs> Break your stuff and take all your loot! Ship power is maximum. I do not need to worry. I need to worry about that happening. Aha! It's back! It's back! I, I... I... I lost complete track of where I am. Ah, there you are! Are we good? We should be good now, I think, I hope. Are we live? Can everyone can everyone see me and hear me? Good. I was worried there. Nope. Bird. Getting out. The ground side now, you can't hurt me. Now you see to survive for a whole minute without being spotted. Thankfully, uh, the superheated atmosphere improves my jetpack efficiency by a dramatic amount. And on top of that, uh, I don't think any are going to spawn in. Uh, I don't know. The computer just kind of froze on me. I was making a joke about like I don't I don't need to worry about playing with fire. I'm not gonna get burned and the whole screen just went like
The whole screen just went. <laughs> Minus seven. Detected. Twenty-one hours? No, we're we're gonna I'm calling in my starship for this. Thankfully, the recording is still going. We didn't lose the recording; we just lost connection for a minute. So, hooray! We're still good. settlement exists on your world. I am genuinely excited to see what's up. I hope that wasn't too big an inconvenience for you, dude. Like, genuinely, I... I I try to make sure that the stream doesn't crash, but something about this game seems to cause occasional crashes. Three, two, one, touchdown! Cannot. Sure. I've accepted a task. Taming the critters. Feed creatures. Well, first off, let me shove some of this pugnium in my personal refiner and get my 43 nanites. Uh, it wants me to feed creatures. My connection cut out too for a while, so like, was having some issues. Welcome to the Galactic Cup! We've got lots to do here, such as, uh, envy other people's ships, accept missions. Exotic ship. And then another living ship, kind of like mine, but mine has a longer snout, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, so there are different classes of ships. So my ship is a living ship. Um, obviously, it's alive and biological in nature. This ship over here is a fighter class. They they excel in extreme amounts of damage, but don't do that good on like 
uh, they have a very small inventory. This ship over here is an explorer class ship. They're not as good as a fighter in combat, but their ability to jump between stars is almost unrivaled in terms of distance. There's also hauler ships that have the biggest inventory and shuttles that are kind of all around. Uh, exotic ships, such as this one, excel in damage and hyperdrive range, as well as just being incredibly fast and maneuverable, but have a small inventory. So if you're looking for combat, that's the best option. Or one of the best options. That or a fighter. Hi, Iteration Helios! Ah, no, I already visited you today. How about you? Iteration Ares! Pretty much. Uh, what are the perks of a living ship? So, there are several. Uh, let me let me go over some of them. First off, it has better. St it's its stats are kind of like almost like a lower grade exotic ship. Its its damage is on par with a fighter, but not quite on par with an exotic. Its hyperdrive range is very good, and its maneuverability is pretty well good as well. The big difference is that it doesn't use the same fuels as other ships. So if I wanted to fuel the hyperdrive of a normal ship, I would need to craft a warp cell, which would take a while. You know, I need to craft an antimatter and then get some ferrite and then blah, blah, blah. With this, I just go into the organ chamber and shove chromatic metal into the singularity cortex. Um... Instead of making launch thruster fuel, I just need to give it oxygen. And strangely enough, it seems to be evolving over time, gaining more inventory space slowly. Also, uh, most ships need to have special upgrades installed that will allow it to reach non yet. So there are four types of stars. There's yellow stars, red stars green stars and blue stars and you need to you can normally only reach yellow stars you need to craft special hyperdrive upgrades that can take a while to make to allow your ship to reach each different color of star the living ship ignores all that and just goes wherever the hell it wants the last thing is that remember we were talking about black holes earlier yes going through a black hole will bring you a lot closer hundreds of light years closer to the galactic center but it'll break part of your ship and you'll have to repair it. You'll have to actually go planet side and perform repairs and blah, blah, blah. Living ships completely ignore that too. They can just jump through a black hole. No problem, no questions asked. In addition, living ships are quote unquote free. Or at least the first one is. You just have to do a whole, a, a literal 10 day long quest line in order to get it. <laughs> uh, it depends. Living ships are the best of worlds for like, if you want efficiency and not having to craft things. Um, exotic ships are slightly better in their stats, but they require, like, different fuel types, and... Personally, I just like the living ship better. Plus, it looks badass.
look at this thing. I am flying a space creature. How is that not like the most epic thing ever? Well, well here's the thing. First off, all living ships are guaranteed S-Class, so are all exotics. In order- Whoa! Instantly! Really? Just instant Void Egg. Okay, thank you. That's another thing. Normally, if you want to up- So... You can buy upgrades. Like, I have the default hazard protection, but then I also have upgrades for the hazard protection that I had to go buy. Alien ships living ships, you don't buy their upgrades, you find them from void eggs like what we just encountered. And then you can install them. I don't know why you need the upgrades for other ships, frankly. Okay, so what is this system looking like? How's the economy? Developing. Alright, next system then. What I will say is that living ships are a bit of a hassle to get. They are, um... It actually takes a 10 day long quest line to receive one, like, you get, you get a default ship. And whenever you start the game, you get a basic low-grade C-class ship to start, but then, um, you can buy better ships or find them and repair them. Uh, there are not the... Wow, lots of objects of interest today. Oh! Crap, crater. Um, there are not any purely underwater planets. The best that you can get is, like, half water. Even then, the oceans aren't very deep. This ain't Subnautica. As much as I hate to say it, this is not Subnautica. every time. Well, it's sort of the way the game is programmed. Like, every planet has to be landable, so they can't have any gas giants. And the ships aren't built for water landing, so there would have to be somewhere to land at least. There would have to be, like, small islands where you could touch down on, obviously. what the space encounter is over here. Show me something interesting. The other cool thing is that this game is fully VR compatible. Like, if I wanted to plug in my Oculus Rift right now, well, I don't have it set up. I don't have the VR set up, so I actually need to sit down and, like, figure out the, the controls and set everything up. But I could get in and be literally driving my ship planet side or whatever I should try that I should I should I should get out my oculus and try that it's just over there I just haven't used it in a while I'm listening <laughs> You don't need to ask to recommend games. Like, I'm, I'm happy to talk about games. <laughs> it's, like, it's almost like asking, hey, can I ask you a question? It's like you just did. <laughs> Alien Melody! Oh, another Void Egg. What do we got? A Neural Assembly Module. Improves takeoff efficiency. I'll take a look at it. 
Let me make a note of that. Ah, fudge. Next system! I love this game. This game is so much fun. Like, it's not the most action-packed for streaming, but, like, I absolutely adore just being able to just be like, what's on that planet? What's over that hill? What? What is this animal? What? What can I do here? How can I make this place amazing? It never fails to disappoint. Tis the good shit. Uh, a paradise planet is... Like, so... I think I mentioned this last time, but there are like... Four types of hazards. There's nuclear radiation, there's... Uh, extreme heat, extreme cold, and extreme toxicity. Paradise planets don't have any of that shit. They're just, like, comfortable. You don't have to worry about your hazard protection. Uh, Roblox? Oof! I haven't, I haven't heard that name in years. I still remember playing Destroy the Wall. God, I haven't touched that game in a while. Yeah, I'm listening. Cod zombies doesn't surprise me. They can do some. In, you can do some impressive stuff with coding. Random generation like this is impressive. Probably not to this freaking scale. The, the the size of the No Man's Sky universe is incomprehensible. On a good day. very much. I'd like to get another alien melody egg. I need my upgrades. We don't have changing terrain in this game. I mean, we have terrain modifiers, but they don't, it doesn't like change on its own. Except when it glitches out and does all the work I did. Like, one time I dug this like nice cave system to make a base in, and then the next day I came back and it was just a mountain again. Undid all my work because it like glitched out and reset. Like, oh, come on, man! station is taking a while to find. Not that I mind. I'm just being like, wow, this is taking a while to find. Even with the correct coordinates, it's like, wow. Ship can take it. We're not gonna take it. Oh, oh, oh! You see that little circle on the left side of my control panel that's slowly dropping? That means something interesting is about to happen. Probably pirates.
Excuse you. Don't ram my ship in a We only got a few more hops to make it until we reach the Atlas station. Not sure though. They're not that far spaced out in the grand scheme of things. Ooh, this is a rich economy. Hang on, let me stop by the space station here. Maybe I can get some good loot. Merchant, what's your name? What do you got? Thermal protection. I don't need that. Thank you for the offer, though. What do you got? What's this? The impulse scoop. Mark Mark Eight. That is a C class rank. Ugh. Technology upgrades. Ooh, mining beam upgrade. Hold the phone, hold the phone, I might actually make use of this. The Brilliant Emission Chamber. Perfect. Love those kinds of upgrades. And then, uh... I don't know, maybe there's like... Maybe there's a nice ship that'll fly in. The hauler over there. Yeah, so the way it works is that you can either go up to someone and be like, request dialect help, and then you'll learn a word permanently. You've learned the Gek word for healing. Or you can go and be like, there are stones planet side that you can touch to learn to learn words. Really grateful for my high capacity inventory. Yeah, that took up a lot. Doesn't matter though, I'm gonna make a lot of money from that. As soon as I find a manufacturing economy, I can sell all that for a huge profit. Oh wait, there's a ship coming in. Hang on. Are you S rank? Ugh, oh, you are C rank. Blech. Launch! Sell them high. Then you buy them 
buy materials to build the ultimate base. the next one. Good, we're back, I think. 